Hey guys, today is day seven of the flats and hand washing challenge. And this has definitely been anything but a typical week. We had um, last minute decided to list our house, which is like a whole other thing that I'm probably not gonna get into on YouTube. But anyway, that involved um, a lot of house hunting, a lot of house prep to get our house ready, getting a loan. We had three doctor's appointments. We had work, we had our anniversary, we had my mom come into town, we had a broken um, sprinkler in our backyard that my husband tried to fix so the water was off for an entire day. We had like all kinds of stuff going on and my husband's like, can you just do this challenge later? But I was like, no, if this was really um, our reality, then we would have to keep washing diapers anyway. So I did it. I finished. I'm working on my last load of laundry right now, which leads me right into my um, first thing that I've learned is Small washes are much better than large washes. Right now I'm trying to wash like 10 flats with three covers and a handful of wipes and a couple, you know, all the liners and some boosters and stuff. And it's way too full of a load and I'm having a heck of a time. My hands, like the skin on my hands is just like red and dry and gross. So small loads are best. Um, I was watching another, I can't remember her name so I don't want to say it wrong, but I was watching another one video of someone I was following this week and they said they were watching at lunchtime and I'm like genius because I get home from work three nights a week at like 8 30 and then I eat dinner and then I was washing diapers and nursing the baby before I went to bed and it was taking forever it was keeping me up late so lunch washing has been awesome because then I can just bring everything in from the garage because we've had terrible weather this week bring things in that are dry from the garage and then get everything washed and then get the back hanging and then it's ready again the next day when I need it so um Lunch washing is good. Small loads are definitely good. If you had two in diapers, I would definitely wash twice a day so you don't have tons of stuff going up. And then also another thing that I learned that was really good was um, I used to use wool a lot and you would like roll the wool covers in a towel to like pre-dry them before you air dry them. So I figured why not do that with these covers and it helps so much. Like the first day I didn't do that and my covers were taking like 12, 15 hours to dry <laughs> like totally crazy because they were in the bathroom and it was cold in there and it's not enough air. So um, wrapping them in the towel and then putting them out in the garage or even like out in the living room or something and they were drying like within a few hours. So that helped a lot. So those are like the key things I learned. I had already done this challenge before and that time I learned how to hand wash. So that's a really good skill to have if something were to happen then I know how to clean diapers and also clothes. Um, and the last time I did this I also felt like I learned a lot of folds which I think would be helpful if I was ever like in a bathroom and there was a mom who didn't have a diaper and I didn't have one to give her, then I could like help her fold a blanket into one or something like that. Um, so that's what I remember from last time I did it. So the last part is like, would you do this? And absolutely, if this was a necessity for me um, financially or if our washer broke or if our house sells really quick, we're going to probably need to live in an apartment until we can find a house. And the place that I'm looking at, um, an apartment complex near us doesn't have laundry in the in the things it's like a shared facility so I'll probably just hand wash um, if we have to move into there so yes I would if the situation called for it but um, for fun <laughs> no I really there are so many times this week that I thought I would love to keep doing this just to see when it gets old and like how long it feels sustainable for but we can't just have like diapers like strewn about right now we're listing our house in a few days and it needs to be like really clean so I don't have the time to like keep up on that and keep the house really clean and also just like physically having them out drying is not very show worthy but um I don't know maybe another time I'll try it to see um how long it would be feasible for but I know it is feasible I know that people really do this um all over the world and even all over America so um it was really fun to do it again um it was definitely harder for me to get these videos up every day than it was to actually do all the washing despite the fact it was a super busy week. Um, it's still doable and um, I definitely recommend it to families. It's a way better alternative to spending money on disposable diapers, especially keeping babies in dirty diapers. So this is a very sanitary way to very affordably diaper your child or children or babies or whatever. <laughs> so. Um, high five to everyone who finished the challenge. Um, it's been really fun to watch everyone. I haven't really got to watch anything. I just watched one video today, so I want to um, go back and see what everyone thought of today as their final thing. So um, it was fun doing it with you guys. And um, if Fiona's in diapers next year, I'll do it again. But I have a feeling she's going to potty train earlier than that. But who knows? All right. Thanks for watching and following. Have a good one. Bye.